What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to my latest FIFA 19 video. This video guys is going to be me doing some of the UEFA Champions League upgrade packs. Now, presumably they've brought these back in because it's obviously, it was the start of the, of match day three actually in the Champions League. Um, brought them in yesterday. I didn't really do many of these previously when they were out, which I kind of regretted a little bit. So I'm actually going to do a few of these in the video for you uh, today guys. Um, I've got some which I've already made. Um, I'm just going to quickly do one now just to show you guys, you know, like how to do it and how easy it is to do if you haven't done one yet yourselves. Um, I, I can't really say if I'd recommend them yet. <laughs> um, maybe I can tell you that at the end of the video just because I, I did maybe like two or three of them. Um, yeah, previously. And they didn't really go that well for me, so that's why I didn't do too many. But I've seen a lot of people who have packed really good things in them. Um, so I figured, you know what, I, maybe it's time I had a crack and did a few of them all in one go just to see like if maybe it can transform my team like you never know I could get one or two really really big players that can just take my squad to the next level so um, hopefully this goes uh, reasonably well but basically the requirements for the SBC guys you, you just need exactly a goal team but you need six rares in there um, you need 50 chemistry now Obviously 50 is not a lot, um, but the kind of downside to it is that you do need a little bit of chemistry. So you need, you need like some players that are going to link together. So you can't literally just throw in uh, a completely random squad. You do need to try and get some links in there somehow. Um, I'm just going to quickly work with this a little bit a second. Obviously, you, you know, I've, I've thrown loads in it. I'm not actually going to submit all these. Um, you do only need six, obviously. Just trying to find the right ones to get the right links quickly. Um, we'll take the Senegalese link there. I think it's Senegal. Um, we'll take the Bundesliga link. And maybe I'll just... I'll take out the left mid. Why not? Um, yeah, and then you just want to fill in with random non-rares that you've got in your club. Um, and obviously just throwing like... I, I started off when I did these at first because obviously the ones I've got that are ready... Um, using all the untradeable players. Now, I'm actually onto tradable players now, so I'm trying to use the lowest rated ones possible. Um, and just like, when you're sticking them in, just try and obviously be a little bit mindful that you do need a little bit of chemistry. So, make sure you put a goalkeeper in goal, just because that's obviously kind of like a big thing. Um, just try and put players in their correct position, because that will go a long way, and it'll mean that you won't need as many links in the team. Um, I don't know if I've really got many right backs here. I'll probably... I think it was a Spanish one actually back here. I, I don't want to put in. Yeah, I'm a Spanish one. I don't want to put him in because I've got a feeling that Benevento might possibly come up and scream SBC. So I'm hoping that those sort of players are going to increase in value. Um, I actually bought a couple of them a couple of days ago actually, but whether or not it's going to be a good investment, I'm not sure. But we'll, I mean, I'll soon find out. I probably regret it. I mean, I normally do have any kind of investments I make like that, but. Um, I don't, I don't tend to trade too much, but you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully, I don't know if I've got really any cams that can link here. So, these squads shouldn't really take you too long, guys. It's, yeah, I'm just lacking on the chemistry department here. Uh, I'm on 44 currently. I've got players that are mainly in the right positions, actually. Maybe if I just swap him and then put Quiate into the center mid. It's not working. This is what I mean. Like you, you need, you do need a couple links. Like I've got players that are in the correct position, guys, but I do need some links. So I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna see if I've got a left back quickly, and then we will get on to the, the main juicy part of the video, guys. Um, throw a left back in. That gets us 50 chemistry. There you go. He gets a little link to the left mid actually, because it's all BBVA. But that is all it takes, guys. A squad like that, really, really cheap. Um, just don't put any players in there in any kind of value. So right now, um, because of the UEFA Champions League marquee matchups, there's actually, you need like players from uh, Man United, Juventus, Borussia Dortmund and Athletic in Madrid. So try not to submit any players like that because you might need them for that. Um, but that is actually all it is guys, that's all it takes. Which gets you a UEFA Champions League two player pack which includes one rare and one non-rare. So basically what we're hoping for is that the rare is going to be a really, really good player. Um, and as you can see, I do have some which I made earlier. Uh, nine other ones that I made earlier in fact. So I've got ten that are sat here and we're going to crack these open right now guys. I'm hoping out of ten, 
I'm hoping we can get at least one that I class as like, maybe not necessarily a walkout. Like maybe a walkout is too much to ask for, but something that is gonna, that I'm gonna look at and think, you know, I'll use that player or maybe there'll be a player that I'd be willing, like maybe it just like saves a bit of money or just like a big, big pull, something like that. Obviously, they're going to be a board anyway, like, they're, they're boards no matter what. we got a Brazilian hold midfielder, and is that, like, a Felipe Melo? Oh, no, it's a Fernando. As I said, I don't think I've seen Felipe Melo in FIFA for a while. Um, so, Fernando is not the worst player, 80 rated. Um, obviously, the other player isn't going to be that impressive. We've got Schwab from PSV, and we'll just throw them into the club. Um, the other thing I should point out, guys, actually, the reason that I'm doing this before I'm doing the UEFA marking matchups is that... You do actually need to submit Champions League players into those SBCs, so you know I, I didn't have like too many, obviously. So I thought I'd do these first, just so then any of these like useless ones, like maybe like a Fernando, I'll just throw into that um, into that SBC. So it's obviously the, the, the positive thing there. Um, oh, oh, okay. Maybe, so okay, I thought I thought any rare was a board, but clearly not. Unless maybe that's the rare, but they're classing the non rare as being a higher rated. I don't know. I mean, either way, that's a terrible pack. That's all I know. That's all I can take from that. We've got Zivkovic and Schulz. Um I ain't going to use them, unfortunately. We're going to pack number three. Hopefully, we can get something decent. I'm looking for like at least like one or two 83 rated cards. Um, for a minute, I didn't think the, the blue came up. We got at least an 80 rated. It's Italian. It's a right mid. Is it maybe like a Bernard? It's a like Candreva. Not too bad. 82 rated Candreva. Again, maybe not something that I'm going to use. Um, but nonetheless, not too bad of a card. We got Gutierrez as well. So that's the best one so far. Antonio Candreva. On to pack number four. What are we saying? What are we saying? Okay, so we got a board, so hopefully something half decent. It's Japanese, it's gonna be a Shinji Kagawa, I believe, which is actually not that bad. I mean, he's 84 rated, that's it's quite solid to be fair. Can't really complain with that. An 84 rated card, it's decent. I mean, he's not the most usable player in the world. I mean, look at his stats, they're, they're pretty awful to be fair. Um, but it's an 84 rated player, you never know in the future that could become quite useful. And we've also got Meshel as well. Um, who's that? I don't know who that is. Pack number five. We are almost at the halfway point. Please, can we get something off these? And I want something to, like, you know, something positive out of this EA, this experience. We've got an English left, but I'm guessing that's. Oh, like, who's that? Oh, it's Fabian Del. <laughs> I was like, they don't have any English left backs, but obviously Del's a left back because he played there last year. Um, solid card. I mean, if he was a centre midfielder, it'd be very nice. And I'd be quite happy with that. Because he's a left back, not really of much use to me. We've got a Michel Vorm as well, so we've actually got two players from two of the four Premier League representatives in the Champions League this season. Hopefully we can get somebody from Liverpool as well, being one of the others. Maybe like a Virgil van Dijk, that would be very, very tasty indeed. On to the next pack, and we're getting a German. It's a centre-back. Is it going to be something huge? It's Bayern Munich. It is. Oh, Ah, oh, man. Why can't it be like Boateng or Hummels? Please. I mean, I, it's the best one so far. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's, you know, that's not too bad. It's not a bad player to pull. But it seems whenever I get these, like, scenarios, guys, they just always give me the worst possible player. Like, you know, when I've had, like, French goalkeeper, they're just like, you know, you don't have Mandanda. You don't have Lloris. Here we get... That situation, German Bayern Munich centre back. There's three options that you can get, and they give me the worst one. Come on. Well, three major options anyway. There might be somebody else, but three major options. That's the top of my head. Pack number seven, anyway. They do seem to be slowly improving, which is a good thing. So maybe they're going to improve massively. We get an English centre back. Is it maybe John Stones? It looks as though it is. That is not that bad, to be fair. 83 rated John Stones. I'll take that. Not too bad of a player. Um. The only disappointing thing with these guys, obviously, because like the other player, oh wow. Wow. Untradeable as well, so he's gonna have to go. Um, as I'm trying to say, <laughs> the the only disappointing thing is obviously the player underneath, you know they're not gonna be good because they're like non-rare. Like that's kind of the good thing I like about the normal two rare player packs, is that 
if you get something big in the, in the first one that pops up, you could get something big in the second one. But also with these, you kind of you're not gonna. Um, it's German again. It's a striker. Is it? Is that oof? Yeah. Oof. 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 Unfortunately, that's not an oof moment because he's not very good. But um, we'll take it. We've got Bucko, who I actually already had before this video as a duplicate. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna bin him off. Um, and we've only got two packs left. Where's my Ronaldo? Where's my Messi? Where's my Suarez? Where's my Neymar? I mean, come on, EA. Stop dishing them out. We're looking for a big nationality. We've got English again. Is the whole of it? Is, is that. Ooh. Oh, nah, surely not. Hendo, Hendo, Hendo. <laughs> what a hero. Oh, he, he's, staying, he's staying for SEU at my club. I'm not putting him in any SBCs. Jordan Henderson, what a lad. And Wanfran as well. For a non rare, that's pretty nice actually. That's a pretty nice pull. That's a decent pack. Henderson and Wanfran, take that. We got one left. Oh, they're going to start dishing them out. They're going to dish out a big, big pull there, guys. Come on. Come on, EA. Come on. To be honest, these haven't actually been that bad. They started off a bit slow, but they really picked up towards the end. Um. And hopefully we're going to end on something decent here. It's English again. This time it's a cam. Is it... Oh, is it Jesse Lingard? Oh, that's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. That's a very usable player, that. I'll say that. Guys, I can now say these are probably worth it. Get on them. They're probably worth it, I'd say. You know, like a lot of these players, they're not that expensive on the market. But because they've got that little bit of like a rating boost, a little bit of stat boost, you know, they're, they're not too bad. You've got Spinozola as well, some Juventus player, which is quite useful to be fair because um, obviously we've got the Juventus Man United SBC there, so that's not too bad to get those players. Possibly I'll put him in if he's... is he rare? Where does it say if he's rare? Oh, it says on the bottom. He's common. It's unfortunate. I think you need a rare player for the Champions League thing. Um, but nonetheless, that was fairly successful, guys. I mean, we got some decent players there. Um, let's see if I can just quickly get a little recap of them. we got the we got a special bit. So... Obviously, some of these I packed previously. These are all the Champions League cards we got, all the special cards anyway. So we've got Sergio Oliveira, Ferreira, Schopf, Sula, Bauman, Kagawa, Stones, Henderson, Lingard, Lovren, Hervadez, Kanjava, Danny Rose, Fabian Delph, Oof, uh, Wanfran, Fernando, Zivkovic, Schulz, Vaughan, Gutierrez, Spinozola, Malqui, Schwab, Michel, Butko, and Ede Militao. Happy days. <laughs> Uh, that's not too bad. I mean, it, I didn't get the game-changing player that I wanted. I didn't get, like, a really elite card. But we can't really complain with that, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, though. If you did, then feel free to leave a like. Comment to let me know what players you've got. Um, and obviously, like I said, guys, just, just get on that. It's, it's very much an SBC that I would say is worth it, considering you don't really need to put too much into it. It's kind of, like, low risk. Um, and obviously, if you want to see more of my videos of my FIFA 19 Rose Glory, any, like, FUT19 content that's going to be on the way, these various SBCs, I'll do more of these Champions League ones in the future when they come out of a period of time, then you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, that's it from me guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one